When it comes to the story of watchmaking in Glashütte, Karl Moritz Krossmann is more a volume than a chapter. None other than the renowned horologist Ferdinand Adolf Langer, a lifelong friend of Krossmann and the famous founder of the Glashütte watch industry, is responsible for the impetus behind the brand. With a bright vision for the future in mind, Ferdinand Langer enticed his colleague to move from Dresden to the small village town, encouraging him to found a horological workshop of his own in a new emerging center of German watchmaking. Very committed to the welfare of Glashütte, and later a representative of the Royal Saxon State Parliament, Moritz Kossmann was the author of many technical books and a leading proponent of establishing the highly regarded German school of watchmaking, where he also lectured as a way of passing his knowledge on. After his sudden death in 1885, Kossmann's original manufactory was closed until a new lease of life was given to the brand in 2008. Christine Hutter, a trained watchmaker who served in many fine establishments, including Maurice Lacroix, Glashütte Original and A. Langer & Sonne, secured the rights to the name Maurice Kossmann and finally realised her dream to continue a tradition and build upon the heritage and legacy left by the great watchmaker Crossman. For an independent brand, enlivened just over a decade ago, Maurice Grossman has come a long way. Under Miss Hutter's guidance, the name Maurice Grossman has once again come to stand for fine German watchmaking, representing quality and craftsmanship at the highest level. Since the reinvigoration of the brand, the skilled watchmakers and engineers at Maurice Grossman have gone on to achieve many feats, such as the inception of the Bennu Tourbillon, which was the world's first watch to use human hair within its movement. Its elegance, functionality, finish and simplicity demonstrate the core principles of Rossmann watches, whether centre seconds or intricate complications. Today we are reviewing the Bennu GMT, introduced in 2019 as the first model with a dual time complication in the Rossmann collection. In classic Glashütte fashion, there is nothing extravagant just an impressively high level of attention to everything essential. The solid 18 karat rose gold case of this Maurice Kossmann GMT model has a 41mm diameter and height of 11.85mm and features a winding crown, a lateral pusher at 4 o'clock and a second crown at 10 o'clock. The entire case is beautifully polished and the lugs have a tapered chamfer to create a flowing silhouette which curves ergonomically to fit the wrist. The thoughtfully designed streamlined gold bezel affords a dial plenty of breathing room. The second crown at 10 o'clock allows the arrow indicator on the 24 hour scale, the second time zone, to jump forward and backwards in hourly increments, independent of the 12 hour display at the centre of the dial. A ratchet wheel with ratchet spring is used to activate the jumps. The pusher at 4 o'clock is a restart mechanism. Known as the Grossman Winder with Pusher, it allows precise and simple time setting. When briefly pulling the winding crown out, the Grossman winder switches to the hand setting mode and stops the movement based on a hacking second mechanism. However, contrary to the crown operated time setting on most watches, the Grossman crown immediately returns to its normal position, but can still be operated to precisely set the hands. Once complete, the movement can be restarted by deploying the pusher next to the crown at four o'clock. Because these functions are separated, there's no danger of altering the position of the set hands. This Korsman winding mechanism thus avoids the ingress of particles into the case when the crown is pulled out and unintentional alterations of the hand positions when setting the crown back in place. A little modern day German ingenuity that underlines the new Moritz Korsman philosophy of forging ahead with reverence to the past. If we turn our attention to the dial, you will notice the vignetted effect from sunburst in the center to brushed along the 24 hour ring. This transformation is not only attractive to the eye, it also ensures clear legibility, melding form and function yet again. Instead of an additional hand at the centre of the dial to point to the reference time, the GMT function on this watch is extremely easy to consult. Local time is adjusted with the central hour and minute hands, with baton shaped hour markers for reference, and a recessed small seconds counter located at 6 o'clock offers detail when required. All in all, the added time zone detracts little from the clean lines of the watch face but adds significantly to its utility. One of the most intriguing features of Maurice Crossman watches are the tapered hour and minute hands, which are heat treated to a brownish violet. 
The delicate hand applied process requires precision and timing to achieve the exact hue. Small features such as this serve as a reminder of the subtle difference between mass produced watchmaking and hood horology. Another treat awaits as we inspect the movement and realize that the elaborately executed hands are not an exception, but rather the rule in terms of Moritz Crossman's approach to watchmaking. Every aspect of the movement has been designed, created and finished in a meticulous and deliberate fashion. The Calibre MG 100.8 in this rose gold beauty is a hand wound movement with an adjustable mass. There is a micrometer screw regulator, which has been designed to be removable without decasing the entire movement. A clever construction that reduces stress and time during service and repair. The three quarter plate, typical in German watches, is constructed from untreated German silver with an engraved stepped balance cock held in place by a single heat purpled screw. An additional point of interest is that all the train wheels are made not of traditional brass and steel pinions, but a light, high tensile strength, non-magnetic alloy that first appeared in high-end watch brands such as Richard Miller. Once again, Christine Hutter's training, experience and appreciation for excellence resulted in a successful combination of heritage and modernity. The Bennu GMT in solid rose gold is an enviable piece of watchmaking. We love the feel of this piece on the wrist. It's balanced and present. Every millimeter of every element, visible or not, is considered and refined to an optimal level. Naturally, there is a certain amount of competition in quality hand-wound GMT watches, but even in comparison with other models between $40,000 and $60,000, Moritz Crossman's Bennu GMT holds its own as one of the better we've seen. If you like independent watchmaking, appreciate attention to detail and crave a little exclusivity, we recommend you take a closer look at the Moritz Grossman collection. There are some stunners in the mix, and we think the Bennu GMT deserves to be up there with the best. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, until next time.